Hey there guys and welcome. My name is Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web, your home for old school Airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Today we are shooting the FX Wildcat Mark III. I'm pretty sure it's a Mark III, yes. Is it a Mark III? It is a Mark III, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Still learning these things. Yeah, we're gonna be shooting at 50 yards today, about actually about 52 yards. We've got a pretty good wind today, about five miles an hour constant to hard three o'clock, coming right to left. And it's gusting between 10 and 15, so it should be a little bit of a challenge. We're testing pellets today. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Let's get into it. So before we get started, I definitely want to say thank you to today's video sponsor, and that is FT Airguns. FT Airguns was here for Airgun Expo. You guys may see the banner occasionally behind me of all the sponsors. Well, they were a big deal. They came out here, drove all the way from Dallas, set up. We spent an hour here shooting some really awesome air guns. You should check out that footage if you haven't seen it. It was pretty cool. Anyway, we actually, they made us a great deal on this gun, like a sweet deal, and we picked this up. So this is part of our permanent inventory. And it's just an awesome air gun. It's variable power, variable regulator, just a really, really nice setup. And yeah, we've done some, already done a lot of videos with this. Angie did a whole grip review with it, so check it out. But uh, they've been a great company to work with, a great new sponsor for the channel. So we really like working with FT Air Guns. They have a physical shop that you can go check out. And they have a online, there's a bunch of bugs today. They have an online shop that you can go check out as well. So check them out, it's ftairguns.com. And remember, if you wanna go put your hands on it, you can actually drive to their shop. If you're in the area, Dallas, Fort Worth region, you can go in and actually put hands on, which is pretty stinking cool. So today, what are we doing? Uh, besides trying to get all the bugs off of me. Um, we've got the Precision Pellet um, Smackdown. I don't know what else to call it. We're gonna keep maybe trying different names as we go here. Uh, I've got the JSB 1813s. I've got the H&Ns and the new Dead Centers. All of these are 181 or 1813s. They all tout precision, that's what they're going for, and you guys know that different pellets shoot differently in air guns. So which of these like top precision pellets is gonna give us the best accuracy out of our FS, FX Wildcat? That's what we're gonna find out. And what I realized in one of my recent videos, and I know you guys would say stop talking and start shooting, we're, we're almost there, just bear with me. This is important. <laughs> uh, what I realized in one of my most recent videos is that one shot group, and I, I sort of know this, but we're kind of going through a quick overview of it. But one shot group does not really give us adequate data, right? So what I'm gonna be doing now, and I'm gonna go back and do the other guns, we'll have a follow up with those. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shoot, uh, basically get a cider at 50 yards, 52 yards, to get a cider um, with each pellet. And then I'm gonna shoot three groups, three five shot groups, and look at sort of the average. What's it look like? Um, did, because sometimes you can get a group that shoots awesome and then you can't get it to repeat. And that is not, <laughs> that's not the kind of data that's helpful to you guys, is it? I mean, you want to see this pellet is consistently accurate. This one is less consistently accurate. And this one is, yeah, we got one great group. And then all of a sudden it went to, went to yeah, you guys get it. So what we're going to be doing going forward as we test these precision pellets, is we're going to give you multiple groups to consider. So. Uh, we do have wind today, so it is a variable, and it is what it is. I can't guarantee perfect conditions here. Um, yeah, we've got a, a little bit of a, whatever that is coming through, not a dust devil, because that's going to be far more violent, but we've got a, I don't know, a, a gust, there you go, wind gust coming through. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started and do some shooting now. We're going to start with the uh, JSBs, and down there I have uh, three rows, works out perfectly, of four targets each. So we're gonna shoot a couple ciders on the first target and then give us our three five shot groups after that. I gotta go grab the mag and we're gonna do some shooting. Okay, so let's see. I don't, I have not shot this since I got it back from Angie. So let's see what we got here. We are at 52 yards, top left target. Okay, I'm gonna take a shot and just see where we're hitting. Angie, did you leave it set up for me or what'd you do here? Let's find out. All right, little, it's, it is, 
a little left, but right to left, or up and down looks good. Let's bring it to the right. Which way is right? I always get that screwed up. Oh, it's right there on the side. Cool. Let's go. We're going to go. I'm going to do six clicks. And I'm running a. What do we got here? We have a 24 power scope. This is the one that they left with the gun, Vortex. Um, super nice. It's first focal plane. Okay. That is just gorgeous here. Okay, let me get settled in here. I am going to invest in a proper gun rest here shortly. Okay, a little high. Let's see if we can go down some. Uh, this isn't pull, it just turns. Okay. Yeah, it's really pushing hard, guys. I think the wind is giving us a bit of a fit here. That is one mil over. I think we're going to just use our mills today. I'm not going to try and chase it because it's going to be what it is. All right, we're going to start with our five-shot group on the next target down. These are the JSBs. Now, we have shot these before, and they've been exceptionally good. So we already know they shoot well. But the wind is really pushing hard today. But I guess we'll find out if we're all shooting in the same conditions. It won't really matter, will it? All right, I'm going to aim. There it comes, wind. It's really pushing. That was two mils push. One. Two. Three. Four. That did not cock, dang it. I didn't pull that back far enough. Five, okay. All right. Let's try again. <clears throat> we're gonna go down to the next group. I'm just gonna use that same hold. Give us an idea of what we're getting, right? One, two, three, four, that's better, five, okay. It's definitely calmed down. We're still pushing a little bit left, but there is a constant wind out there, so you can see it pushing the shade cloth. All right, last group. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, okay. Man, we had a good one going there, didn't we? Four shots in the same hole. All right, that's good. Um, let's see where we're sitting on our, on our pressure. We can maybe do another mag. Our reg is set to 100 bar, and we are sitting at 180. We're fine. We can do another round. We can do another round for sure. Okay. All right, let's grab the H&Ns. They are the least new. So the jet dead centers are the newest uh, foray into this particular arena. And let's see how the H&Ns do. Let's start with the top bolt. We're going to start with the cider. Um, let's see. Should we add dead? Let's just aim dead center. See what she pushes, and then we'll adjust from there. And these are the 1813s from H&N. Cider shot. Wow, that pushed a full mil and a half over. <sighs> Take another shot. Yeah, that's a mil and a half over, wow. 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna use my mill dots. It works out that I can bracket that target with the between second and third or first and second mill, and it's about right. So let's just take our groups here. Wind's pushing hard here. Oh yeah. Do that again. Get in there. I mean. Ooh, less wind. Yeah, the wind stopped. You saw it push over. Okay. Darn it, but that was really good. Let's do, let's go down. What is up with this? Get in there. Did I not? Oh, I see. <laughs> Got to rotate the, <laughs> the mag catchy thing all the way, get it all the way. I'm all right, so I'm set now. So use your error. Okay, we're going to use one mill. We're going to bring it back a little bit. Moving down to the next bowl. Okay, we're dead center, so dang it. I'm going to hold that group there, just so you guys know. Um... That's hitting dead center, so dead center of the scope, I should say. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. That's shooting really well. I'm going to just aim dead center now on the last bull. The wind is really, it's almost stopped now. A little bit of a pressure. You can barely see it on the canopy here. Bottom bowl, five shots. One. Two. Three. Four, oh, no good. Five. Oh man, okay. Okay, so far between the two, what do you guys think? I'm looking at the groups now. Um, gosh, it's a mixed bag, isn't it? I don't know that there's any clear winner. And I don't know that the conditions are really helping us at all. Let's see if we can get another mag out. Um, we are at 100 bar here, still on a reg, obviously, that doesn't change. And we are, yeah, we are 165. We have plenty of air. Let's do that. First thing we're going to do is take a cider. Oh. Yep, we're going to work on getting a proper gun rest. All right, there it is. Top group, take a cider. Oh, come on, wind. Give us a break. Now it's coming right in my face. Let's change positions. Ooh, it's cool, too. Nice breeze. That's wonderful. All right, yeah, I can keep blowing now. It's right in my face, so I don't know what that's going to do to our group. So I'm going to aim dead center to see where we hit. Wow. Pushed way to the right. Another one. Okay, dead center. Hmm. Haha, <laughs> dead center, that's what they're called. That's funny. Okay. Do one more cider. Okay, we're gonna go just hold center. Alright, next 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 group down, or next uh, bull down. Five shots, here we go. Whoa, two, three, four, five, okay. Hmm. It's not doing great. Mr. 
It's alright. We're gonna drop down. I think if we were gonna stop right here, I think I would give the wind to the H and N's guys, but let's just see what this does. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Hmm. Man. Here we go. Last group. JTS, dead centers. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go grab that target and then we're going to wrap this up, but I think we can pretty much see where we're sitting. Be right back. So I'm going to ask my sister to just put a picture of this up while we talk about it. Um, yeah, I think, obviously, I think the conditions played a bigger role today than, um, I thought they would, frankly. I probably should have done this at 30 yards instead of 50, but it is what it is. I think the dead centers uh, performed the worst, at least in these conditions, at that range out of this gun. Um, I'm looking at these, and... I think I don't think I could pick a clear winner between the JSBs and the H and Ns. I think that given the conditions, I think that we're probably a tie on those. If maybe a slight not, no, I really can't say it. I mean, between the variations on the groups, there they may swap position here and there, but I think I think they're about equal. Um, yeah, it's not enough data here to make a definitive answer. But, you know, that's interesting. Um, that means that um, we get a nice calm day. I'll come back out and redo this and run them all through the, the test again because, um, yeah, it's obvious that the wind, when it would pick up, would certainly push things around quite a bit. But it was, that was I mean, that was a lot of fun. I mean, you get out, do a little shooting, do a little testing, and what's not to be, you know, what's not to like about that, right? Now, if you guys are looking for a new air gun, you want to get in the sport, and you found this one interesting, you say, gosh, that would be a lot of fun, please check out our sponsor, FT Air Guns. Um, you can check them out online, ftairguns.com, or if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, you can go into their shop and actually put hands on all the different types of guns that they have there in stock. That's very, very cool to kind of see how it's going to fit, how it's going to feel, and be able to just take it home. And the cool thing about um, my experience with FT Air Guns is after the sale, they're there for you. And I needed help getting my impact all set up and, and dialed in. And Manny spent a good bit of time on the phone with me, making sure I understood what each little setting did and I could get that dialed in exactly where I wanted. And that attention to personal service, you don't find that everywhere. That was awesome. So if that's what you're looking for, check them out, ftairguns.com. That's going to be it. My name is Rick Hutzer here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.